Hi, here we're going to look at how we can assign an RRS notation to compounds containing a chiral carbon. And you can see in this compound that we've already drawn that we've got a chiral carbon here, a carbon with four different groups attached. What we need to do then is assign a priority to all the atoms attached to this chiral carbon. And the priority is based on the atomic number of the atom attached. The higher the atomic number, the higher the priority of the group. So we can see here that the atoms directly attached to the chiral carbon are oxygen, these two carbons, and the hydrogen. And the highest atomic number out of those four is the oxygen with an atomic number of eight. So that there is given my number one priority. Now, if the atoms directly bonded to this chiral carbon are the same, which is in this case, we look at the next atom along in the group to work out which is the highest priority. And we can see the next atom along is an oxygen in this case and a hydrogen in this case. And obviously this means that this is going to have a priority of two because oxygen has a higher atomic number than hydrogen. This would mean that this CH3 group is priority three and the hydrogen has a priority four. What we then need to do is make sure that the lowest priority group is behind the plane of the page and that can be shown by this dashed bond. A dashed bond implies that the group is behind the plane of the page so that must be the lowest priority group and it already is in this case. What we then need to do is draw an arc from the highest priority group to the lowest priority group. So if I draw an arc from high one to two to three, so I've gone there from the highest priority group to the lowest priority group, which is three in this case, one, two, and three. If this is going in a clockwise direction, then this is the R configuration or the R note. We give this the R notation. So this then would be R two hydroxy propanoic acid. So let's just recap very quickly on what we've done there. We've got my chiral carbon and I assign a priority to each group based on the atomic number directly bonded to this chiral carbon. This is priority one because the oxygen has got the higher atomic number than any of the other atoms attached. If there is a tie between the two atoms, we'll look at the next atom along, look at the atomic number of that, the highest atomic number, the higher priority. So O, has a higher atomic number than H. This is why this carboxylic acid is number two. Methyl number three and hydrogen is always going to have the lowest priority because it's got an atomic number of one. We then make sure that the hydrogen is behind the plane and we can show that it is behind the plane because of this dashed bond. And we then draw an arc from one through to two through to three. And if this arc is going in a clockwise direction, it's given the R notation. Let's try these rules on a second compound and let's see if we can assign this the RRS notation. So we've got a chiral carbon again and it's this one here. We assign a priority based on the atomic number and the atomic number of chlorine is the highest out of the four that we've got. One, two, three and four. So the chlorine gets priority one. Oxygen, two, carbon three, hydrogen four. So I've got my priority. However, in this case, the hydrogen is not behind the plane of the page. It's not the dashed bond. So what we do here is, is we draw my arc from one to two to three. And we can see here that it's going in a clockwise direction. And that would be an R group if the hydrogen was behind the plane. But because hydrogen is the opposite, it's not behind, it's in front, then instead of this being an R, we switch this to being an S. So this now is S, and it's actually chlorohydroxy ethanoic acid. So let's just summarise what we've done there. 
got my chiral carbon and I've assigned a priority to each atom bonded to that carbon based on the atomic number. That's given us chlorine at 1, the OH at 2, the carboxylic acid is 3, hydrogen at 4. Again, we've drawn an arc going from 1 through to 3. And that would be an R if the H was behind the plane, as it is a, a dashed bond. But because the H is a wedge bond, it's in front of the plane, we swap this. And instead of that being R, it is now S. And that there is a quick overview of how you can assign an R or S notation to compounds containing chiral carbons.